Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, my name is Seppi. In today's video, I'm doing something kind of different. Um, I have been requested this video loads, but loads of times before. Um, so you guys might think this is random, but loads of people actually want to see this. So I thought why not film it for you guys, seeing as I literally just got home 20 minutes ago and put makeup on film this for you guys I don't even know if that makes sense um but yeah today I'm gonna be showing you guys what is in my uni bag so um this is the actual bag itself and I'm not gonna lie to you guys mum where's that scale thing okay we have the scale thing for like suitcases but it was downstairs because you know we travel all the time but they've moved upstairs I was gonna wait for you guys but I think mum how much do you think my bag weighs uh, I think four, five. dad what do you think how much does my bag weigh no. my school bag not my school bag. Six, four, five, six. yeah my parents are guessing that my dad thought I was talking about my luggage he goes 28 kilos I'm not even going anywhere um no my school bag definitely weighs between four to six kilos it is very very heavy I'm literally like putting my hand underneath it right now to hold it so a fun fact about the bag that I'm using this term for uni this was my school bag in year nine um, it's from Juicy Couture in LA I believe my sisters got this for me when I was in year nine and I loved it so much I used to wear it to school like I used to wear this leather jacket over my uniform and this bag and uh, when I'd like leave school I felt like I was like so sick I can't even explain to you guys I know I sound so nerdy um, but I thought it was so cool because I had this bag it's still like in such good condition I haven't used it since I was in school and then I randomly just picked it up and I was like this looks like still in such good shape um, so and it's so pretty and I've actually got so many compliments on it when I tell people it was my school bag in year 9 no one can believe it so it's from Juicy Couture it's basically vintage so I'm sorry if you guys can't track it down or anything um, but the colours in itself is really nice so it's like a pink velour um, ooh it's dirty with like brown little juicy dogs on it and then it's got like these diamante things on the side this little taggy thing and then the zip just says Juicy Couture on it. Um, so I'm going to just open up my bag and go through everything that's in there. So bearing in mind I actually haven't looked to see what's in my bag. So this could be quite bad. First things first is my pencil case. So I use this Kep Kipling pencil case. And again you're going to laugh but this has been my pencil case since I was in year 9. And this I've actually been using consistently since year 9. I haven't had another pencil case unless I go into exams with the clear one. But this is my pencil case. Um, and I just have a bunch of like highlighters, um, pens, my favourite pens are from Muji, um, you can get Muji, I get Muji from Selfridges, I like their plain like black pens, and then I've got Sharpie highlighters, um, they're quite good, I've been using them for the first time this year because my other highlighters ran out, I like to highlight my work, um, I feel like it stays in my head more. I also always keep a mini stapler. I've again had this since year nine. <laughs> it's gonna sound like such a weirdo in this video. And these scissors, I think these are just your bog standard like IKEA scissors. Um, but yeah, I've got like all my essentials in here and you always need one of these. Next thing that is in my bag is the Oxford handbook. Um, this one is obstetrics and gynecology. I was on obstetrics and gynecology recently just before I was on pediatrics so that's why I have this still because I haven't finished my learning objectives to do with this so I still need this textbook with me um, and I just go through it whenever I have time um, so if I have like a study break which basically doesn't really happen but I just keep it with me in case the next thing I have in my bag is this folder I will have these lectures with me and I will just read through them um, and they've got all the vital information that I need for each placement. So this is all of my um, lectures that I've had or teachings that I've had so far printed out and some of it's my own notes that I've written during the teaching as well printed out. Next thing I have in my bag is this um, A4 like divided notepad thing. So in this I write all of my notes. Um, so, so like whatever um, topic I've been researching I will just literally write my notes on it um, I'll write my notes on it and then I will eventually add everything that I write into the pink folder on each based on each subject um, but I need always need paper to write on 
then I have another um, pucker pad notepad thing. This one is smaller than the last one and I use this to answer questions in. So I have um, access to this website called pastmedicine.com and um, it's like a question bank for medical students and I basically answer their questions in here. Um, well, I answer it online, but whatever I get wrong, I write down the answers here. So really helpful to just have a separate book for my questions and stuff that I get wrong. Yep, you guessed it, another book. So this one I got three weeks ago from Sainsbury's because there's a Sainsbury's close by to where I work. And um, by work, I mean where I'm on placement. Um, and this says Dreams and Schemes 2018 to 2019. And what I use this for is basically on when I take the train in to work or uni or whatever, um, I'll write in my goals, um, whether it be for that day, whether it be like long into the future, or basically kind of what I'm thinking of planning for myself. Um, like, you know when you get thoughts in your head, like especially on the train, like I could be on the train anywhere between an hour and an hour and 45 minutes. I have a lot of time on my hands to think about things and what I want to achieve and when you're underground you can't really like go on your computer and do stuff so I'll write down everything I want to do long-term goals short-term goals and like it says dreams and schemes that's basically what I use this for next I have this little booklet thing I can't show you the I can't show you the other side because it has the name of my university on it but this is all my learning objectives for the placement that I'm currently on which is pediatrics um, so I have all my learning objectives for this placement printed out so that I can make sure that I'm studying them or seeing them on the wards or whatever. Um, it's just good to have a hard copy, even though it is available online as well, but I prefer to have a hard copy. Next thing in my bag is my laptop. I have a MacBook Air. I don't know what size this is, um, but I know it's the smaller size they have, and I don't know if they even do the size anymore. I got this in my first year of uni, so I'm currently in fourth year, so you guys do the maths, about three years ago. Um, and the case for it I got from Amazon. I think if you just type in pink marble case or something, it will come up. And I don't always take this with me. I usually take it if I have videos I want to edit on the train. I will use this um, to edit with. Otherwise, I don't try not to lag this around with me just because, like I said, my bag is so heavy that it's... I might as well, if I've got access to a computer in uni or on the wards or whatever to not have to carry this around with me. Next up, which I'm sure you guys were all expecting to see in my bag, is my stethoscope. Um, I got this in my first year. Um, everyone was like, you don't need a stethoscope in first year, but I feel like I actually did better by having one because I could practice the stuff that I'd learnt clinically. Um, in first year because my uni has clinical teaching from literally day one. So I have a Littmann's uh, stethoscope, it's just the classic one. Um, does it say which one? doesn't say which one but it's basically the classic Littmann's. I don't have a cardiology one. I won't be that advanced into needing that extra technical stethoscope so I just have a standard one. Mine is pink. My sister Sina is also a med student and her one is so cool. She got hers after me and she got hers customised. Hers is black with matte black and then her bell is like chrome, like rainbow chrome. It's so cool, I'm so jealous. Next up I have my ID card. Obviously I can't show you guys but it's double sided. I have my NHS one and then I have my uni one on this side. Um, so the NHS smart card is basically to access notes whilst you're on the ward and the uni one is to get into uni and use as your identification. I also have my locker keys on here and just a lanyard and then attached to the lanyard I also have a pen always because you always need a pen on the wards. You are probably expected to, like you're always expected to write stuff whether you're writing in patients notes or writing in your own notebook for whatever reason. Um, yeah, you're always going to need a pen. I always have one attached to my lanyard. Next up is my headphones. I have these AirPods. Um, I got them as a present. Um, would I personally buy them myself? I mean, yeah, I really like them. But in a way, I get pain. I have really small ears. So I get pain when I have headphones in for too long. So I feel like the next set of headphones I get will be over-ear ones. So if you guys know any good ones that aren't too, like, technical, like, appropriate for DJs or whatever then let me know because some of them are just way too like cool for school and not like that. Next up is my portable charger. Um, oh ironic because the wire isn't even in here. So this portable charger has one, two, three outlets, um, an on button and a flashlight. 
from a brand called Cat. I don't know, my dad gave it to me. I think he got this when he was in China. Um, it's a really good charger. It's good because when I went on holiday to Cannes, um, my friend April and I would always go to the beach and then afterwards when we go eat lunch we'd both have two wires connected to this and recharge our phones because by then our, our phones would be dead so it's really really handy. Next up is a normal set of headphones um, so you guys might be wondering why do I have two sets of headphones it's because when I'm editing videos um, if those other ones die then I'm gonna need this otherwise I'm gonna have to make the whole train listen to my videos and that's just not fair on the whole train. Next thing in my bag is Kleenex tissues. I can't believe how much stuff I carry in this bag. I was like, this video is gonna be so short. You guys are gonna be like, bloody hell, so if you like empty your bag. Um, I have Kleenex tissues. It's not allergy season yet, it's not winter yet, but when winter comes, I'm gonna be grateful that I put this in early because um, yeah, the amount of times I get runny noses, especially early morning in winters, I really, really need this. Um, Next, I have my Carmex Moisture Plus lip balm. If you watched my previous vlog, then you would have seen this. I'm obsessed with this. Um, I might put some on now. It is like in a cherry color, and it's just really hydrating, and it's got nice color to it and nice shine. And then the last thing in my bag is change. I don't usually carry change, but there's a coffee shop near where I work that only um, accepts contactless after I've spent four pounds, so... Um, I try and carry change with me so that I could buy coffee in the mornings without having to buy my lunch as well. So, yeah, got some change. That is it. My bag is empty. Um, oh yes, I didn't show you guys the inside of the bag, but I just got this like inside pocket that says shop. And on this side it has hello for your mobile and this for your lip gloss. But obviously the inside is a bit like ruined because I've had it for so many years. So that is the end of this video. You guys have seen everything that I carry with myself to uni. As you can see, I carry a lot. You guys can suggest ways where I can reduce the amount that I carry. Then feel free to let me know because my shoulder hurts and I have an Iranian mom. And you know what that means. It means she moans at me every single day that I'm going to have back problems because of this bag. And yeah. <laughs> uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me down below. Um, I don't only film what's in my bag, obviously. I also film a lot of vlogs, um, stuff to do with medical school, weight loss, gym, fashion, beauty, the whole lot. Basically, my whole life. So if you guys want to join in and make me very happy, then please do subscribe and don't forget to check out my socials they'll be linked in the description down below love you guys so much and i'll see you next time bye